The seven star terror raid event for Blaziken is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details as well as the best Pokemon to solo with in your game. So running for two weekends consecutively, we're going to see the Blaziken raid go live this weekend as of recording this video from the 12th of December. It'll be running over this weekend until the 14th and you can see all the standard details level 100. It will have the hidden ability speed boost so it will be getting a speed increase every turn it goes and it will have the moves blaze kick, brave bird, earthquake, low kick. Additional moves it will have are overheat, rock slide, swords dance and bulk up so it's going to have a very good coverage compared to other seven star terror raids that we've seen in the past it will have the mightiest mark and it will be a flying terror type pokemon with the a nature adamant no held item and only catchable once per save file you will get the good item drops as well as usual per the seven star raids so the first time around you're going to be guaranteed ability patch uh, tms flying terror shards and lots of lots and xl candies and then on the repeat raids when you do farm this you're going to have good chances of getting the ability patch ability capsule and then again high cost items as well as those level up candies as well so a pretty good one for running through and soloing over we'll be returning next weekend as of recording this video on the 19th and running through till the 21st of january so you've got two chances to take part in this raid event while it is running for this seven star blaziken and the pokemon that we're going to recommend in today's video to consistently beat this blaziken is going to be belly bolt for a few reasons it is accessible to anyone with scarlet or violet it's not a version exclusive and it is going to be the most consistent pokemon to take into this raid regardless of the npc partners that you do have to solo this in your game Belly Ball going to be level 100, going to be hyper trained. It will have the electric terror typing with the held item of metronome. It's going to have the moveset of reflect, acid spray, chilling water and parabolic charge. It will have the ability electromorphosis and it will have an EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in special attack and the remaining six EVs put into that defense stat as well. So that is basically the Belly Bolt build that we're recommending to solo this with in your games. It will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it after the video. So when you first come into the raid, you're going to have a turn zero. You're not going to see the Blazer King go for any attacks off the bat like we would do with other seven star terror raids. If you've got an Intimidate user as one of the NPC partners, it's going to help you out a bunch. But turn one, we're always going to go for the Chilling Water. This is a really important move to just lower that attack stat on the Blazer King further than what it is already. So we're getting it down to minus one, actually minus two, because we've got that intimidating Taurus next to us. So like I say, it does help out a lot. Turn two, we're always going to go for the Reflect, and we're going to be able to take Earthquake pretty comfortably here. It's always going to be Earthquake and Low Kick, what you would normally see from the Blaziken at these early stages of the game. And turn three, what we're going to do is go for the Acid Spray. So we're going to go for another Acid Spray. We'll see the Blaziken go for a Swords Dance here. Is going to boost its attack by two stages so it is going to negate the uh, initial chilling water and the intimidate so we'll go for another chilling water here lock that in rather than the acid spray just to make sure that we are keeping the blaziken's attack in check because that's a big important thing for us in this raid we want to make sure that we're negating the sword stances and those bulk ups going forward in this battle then we can go for the acid spray after this if you're in that position too we'll be able to see the earthquake come out again not really going to be doing too much damage but we are expecting to probably get knocked out with the belly bolt in this raid but don't worry about that too much we're going to see nullified stats and abilities on our side of the field uh, on turn four which is fine and then we'll be able to fire off an acid spray which remember we are taking a tick off our terrestrialization counter as well when we're using the chilling water and the acid spray so we're getting closer to terrestrializing but you want to terrestrialize when you're in a comfortable spot with your hp we'll see another earthquake come out we do survive that so like i say this is all down to having that intimidate user next to us if you haven't got the intimidate user next to you it's going to take a little bit longer we would have been knocked out by now so just keep that in mind we're prepared to be knocked out this next turn and the big thing as well with the belly bolt is keeping an eye on the reflect how many turns of reflect you have left or when it runs out because you're going to want to set that up as soon as possible and we do not have a reflect set up at this point in time so we'll go for that reflect before we do anything else we're going to take an earthquake for our trouble while we do this minus one take it pretty comfortably 
but we're going to be in a good position this next turn to get either another acid spray off um and or we can terrestrialize and go for the parabolic charge i think at this stage we'll go for another acid spray we're going to see another earthquake fired out from the blaze again but we're still in a good comfortable position here get this acid spray off and it really sets us up nicely for this next turn where we can terrestrialize and start doing some big damage to this laserkin and start really chipping away at it from this point forward so lock in with your terrestrialization and then start firing off those parabolic charges we've got the metronome item attached and it might look like we're in a bit of a dire situation because of the raid timer but don't worry about this once we start the, the kind of ticking away with the parabolic charge because of those acid sprays we're going to be able to start doing some good damage and kind of clawing back all of that hp as well as chipping away at the blaziken because the shield's up so early on in this raid once it's broke you can kind of cut through it pretty quickly from that point on and you can see the damage that we're doing there with that parabolic charge with the stack of the the acid spray there so really catching up doesn't negate negative effects from itself so essentially removing those acid spray drops that it has taken already and any attack drops that it's had as well so you need to bear that in mind but we do still have the reflect in place so we can go for a ref an acid spray here just to lower that special defense one more stage we'll take a low kick as it comes out that's fine um, and we'll break the shield in the process here and set ourselves up to start doing some more better damages next turn with the parabolic charge to kind of remove it from the field a little bit quicker so rather than go for the parabolic charge again we'll go for another acid spray while we've got the opportunity to you can see we're getting real benefit from that taurus being knocked out as well because it is coming in with that intimidate cycling that makes it a lot easier to take the attacks like i say it is a lot slower if you don't have an intimidate user next to you but we've got those two acid sprays off and we're going to be in a position now where we can just go for that parabolic charge again do some big damage and the next turn we're going to be able to pick up the blaze again pretty pretty consistently pretty easily and um, like i say it's going to be the most consistent build you're not going to have to rely on having specific npc partners next to you like you would do if you're using Mariadon. you're going to need our oblivion you're going to need two intimidators to really get through the raid quickly and um, because once the blaziken does get set up it is going to be in a position where it is going to be able to knock you out with Things like low kick if you don't have that intimidate support. Things like earthquake if you don't have the Obelivia support. Whereas the belly bolt consistently with the chilling water, the reflect, and then the parabolic charge and that combination with the acid spray is going to be able to do the blaziken regardless of who your partnering NPC characters are going to be um, when you come into this raid. So belly bolt a really fast way to run through it and just a consistent one. And I think because it is available to everyone in the game. And again, as always, if you want to farm through the raid for the higher cost items and things like that, you want to reset the dens, you're only going to get one seven star raid on your map at a time. Come to your home menu then down into system settings, down it into system, then into date and time, and then just toggle through here. Don't change anything. Click OK. Make sure you synchronize clock where the internet is off and then come back into the game and your dens will respawn and you'll be able to locate E7 star raid once again and then fly over to it and just farm through the blaze again pretty quickly with the belly bolt over this weekend. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you have a lot of fun with the Blaziken 7 Star Terror Raid event while it's running. Of course, remember it is running from this weekend from the 12th until the 14th and then returning next weekend from the 19th until the 21st. So you're going to have two opportunities to grab it while it is in game. And next weekend when it does return, it will be returning with the Blissies. Have a lot of fun. If you've got a potential build that you've used to a lot of success with the Blaziken, let me know down in the comment section below what you've had success with. I would love to hear what builds you've used but i think overall the belly bolt is going to be the best most consistent one to take in this weekend and i hope you have a lot of success with it if you do try it for yourself in games thank you so much for tuning in friends if you've enjoyed today's video do drop a like do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our pokemon skull and violet content i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye